during this pandemic and just as a healthcare worker, I think it's really shown a spotlight on the issues that we've always had. As nurses, we are not just there to give medications and take care of our patients. We're supposed to be advocates because we're the ones that are there taking care of the community. We know them better than the policy makers. So if we don't advocate for them, then they won't, they won't get the changes that they need. From the units to the streets, NISNA members rallied and organized for themselves, their patients, and their communities. We have put these people in positions of power to help us, not to get into power to forget about us. What used to be critical staffing is now our daily staffing. What used to be panic staffing is now our daily staffing. And in the meantime, ever increasing responsibilities. We joined with 1199 SEIU and CWA to advocate for safe staffing. We joined with labor and community allies to build power. Those of us who have survived and remembering those of us who did not know that we need standards that are enforceable to protect us so we can protect you. Particularly in healthcare, if we're not protected, we can't take care of you. We joined with other essential workers and spoke out for the New York Hero Act, the New York Health and Essential Rights Act, which requires businesses to adapt enforceable health and safety standards to protect workers on the front lines during the COVID-19 pandemic and future healthcare emergencies. It's not easy. And this is what happens when we unite and work together. That's how this bill was taken to the finish line. And this act is a testimony of what we can do to protect everyone. We gathered support from elected officials and we won. We want safe staffing and more. Governor Hochul signed New York's HERO Act. The state legislature passed several bills Nisma advocated for, and we stopped bills that threatened our professional practice and patient safety. In coalition with the Campaign for New York Health, we made progress on the New York Health Act to guarantee health care for all New Yorkers. We beat back cuts to health care in the New York state budget. We showed the world that New York nurses vote. Nurses should get involved in politics because we're the most trusted profession in the world. And um, policymakers listen to us because we are out there. We are the ones that are working with the community, working with the patients, seeing them, taking care of them. And we helped elect new labor and health care champions. When somebody said to you they're running, you need to know, well, what is your position on staffing? What is your position on Medicare and Medicaid? What is your position of, you know, Medicare for all? How do you feel about that? That's what we need to know. We need to be involved. It all starts at a micro level and goes up to the president. If we're not involved, shame on us. And I, one thing I applaud NYSDA and its politics is it supports candidates to support our issues. The fight for healthcare justice is far from over. Get involved. Get out and vote on November 2nd. Everything is political. If you want to make a change about safe staffing, you need to get involved politically. And it starts at your local level because the local level will pressure the level above them and the pressure above them. And the more you escalate and the more you make an issue about things, the more change. But the simplest thing you can do is vote. We need to get involved and we need to get out the vote because we have to hold our elected officials accountable. They're the ones that are, has the power for funding. They have the ones that have the power to pass safe staffing. So we need to hold them accountable and we need to have them live up to their promises.
They come with big promises when they want to be reelected. This is the time for them to prove to us that they're standing with us. Sign up for NISNA's political action team to help build political power for nurses, patients, and working families.